Hi everyone, uh, my name is Xing Yu. I'm with the Computer Science Department, uh, University of Liverpool. Today it's my great pleasure to present our work on Bayline, uh, Bayesian Local Interpretable Model Agnostic Explanations. Uh, this is a joint work with Wei, Xiaowei, Valentin and David. Uh, so what is Bayline? Uh, in general, Bayline is a Bayesian modification of Lime, and Lime is known to be a very popular and successful XAI method. Uh, Bayline can utilize prior knowledge to improve some desirable properties of Lime. So for this agenda, I will first introduce some background and preliminaries on Lime. And uh, in our application of Lime, we notice it has some problems like being inconsistent in repeated explanations and it is unrobust to some kernel settings. We can also expect uh, higher uh, explanation fidelities of Lime. And our solution is uh, quite uh, simple and effective. We try to use a Bayesian linear regressor as the uh, local surrogate model of the original Lime method. Uh, then we evaluate our Bayline with uh, a extensive set of exper experiments. Uh, we introduce and define some new metrics for those three properties. We conduct uh, experiments on diverse data sites like uh, tabular data and image and also a variety of uh, machine learning models. Finally, we conclude Bayline with some uh, take-home message. So LIME stands for Local Interpretable Model Agnostic Explanations. Uh, the original paper was published like five years ago and it is very popular and very successful. I'm showing you the Google Scholar citation to give you a quick feeling. The steps of uh, applying LIME is first we need to select a instance of our interest to interpret. And uh, uh, examples could be an image with some super pixels as the features. Then we need to perturb this uh, uh, instance uh, by switching on and off some features and uh, then query uh, the underlying uh, AI and machine learning models to generate a new set of uh, labels for those perturbed images uh, or instance. And then based on this uh, uh, weighted new training data set, the weights are based on the distance to the original instance. We can train a local surrogate model that are interpretable to human users. And for Lime, it uses a, a, a traditional linear regressor model. And the coefficient vector after training represents the importance of the features. Uh, the first problem of Lime is inconsistency. Uh, I'm showing you a very quick example. Uh, if we run Lime three times to explain this image with a label of dog, we can easily get three different results. And this is a critical problem for some domains like a medical area. And uh, the reason of why Lime is being inconsistent is because of the randomness in the perturbed samples used to train the local surrogate model. And we, uh, in our later experiments, we introduced the well-established candles W as a measure of this uh, uh, inconsistency. And we also introduced a new metric based on the index of uh, dispersion. The second problem of Lyme, uh, as noted in this book, has a very big and unsolved problem, is the uh, unrobustness to kernel settings. Uh, essentially, this problem is about how to meaningfully define the locality of the uh, local surrogate model, uh, which is about how to define the weights of each uh, perturbed samples in the chaining of the local uh, linear regressor. And in our study, we introduced a new uh, global Lipschitz value uh, as the metric for this uh, robotness. Uh, finally, we study the explanation fidelity uh, which is about how to truthfully explain the uh, unknown behavior of the AI model. Uh, that is, we try to explain the true cause of the uh, AI and machine learning model's behavior. Uh, so we evaluate uh, our XAI results by some uh, indication of uh, actual casualty. Uh, normally, uh, we notice this common by the uh, XAI community to use this delete and insert scores, and also in the scenario of explaining backdoor attacking behaviors, 
uh, it's common to use this intersection over union on the actual backdoor and our XAI uh, results. Uh, our baseline solution is uh, actually very simple and effective. We try to use Bayesian linear regressor as our local surrogate model so that we can combine some useful per knowledge for those three uh, desirable properties. And it turns out the posterior estimates of the uh, importance of its feature can be right as a weighted sum of the uh, per knowledge and uh, maximum likelihood estimates based on the new perturbed samples. And the weights are depends on uh, the size and the noise in the new perturbed samples and also the uh, uh, belief strength in the uh, prior knowledge. And for sure, uh, for any uh, basic method, it is kind of hard to have uh, useful prior knowledge. So in Bayline, we implemented three options. Uh, depends on how much prior knowledge you have. You can have no prior knowledge at all, partial uh, informative price or full uh, knowledge about all those model parameters. So to evaluate and uh, compare the consistency and robustness between line, Bayline with uh, different options, uh, we use, as uh, said before, uh, Kendall's W and a Lipsy's value we defined earlier. And the main observations here is, first we observe uh, for both properties, uh, Bayline with non-informative priors option is uh, roughly the same, the similar to uh, the original line, because uh, this is non-surprising, because uh, for both uh, methods, we essentially utilizing only the information from the uh, perturbed samples. And uh, we also noticed there is an auxiliary factor that controls the effectiveness of uh, uh, Bayline with uh, informative priors. And this auxiliary factor has some uh, intuitive meanings like uh, the strength in the uh, prior knowledge and the noise in the uh, uh, new perturbed samples. Uh, we study the explanation fidelity uh, in two scenarios. Uh, first, we try to explain uh, a image classification problem. And in this case, we don't know the ground truth behavior of the underlying machine learning model. So we have to use some uh, causality indicators like the delete and insertion scores I mentioned before. And in this case, the source of prior knowledge is obtained from uh, other diverse XAI results. And in our case, we use the ground cam result. And thanks to the diverse uh, XAI uh, results uh, we use as priors, it turns out Bayline result is uh, better than other state-of-the-art uh, methods like uh, Sharp, Lime, and uh, Grand Cam. And the second uh, scenario, uh, we try to explain the backdoor attacking behavior of some infected neural networks. And in this case, we do know the ground truth behavior of those uh, infected uh, neural network. So we use uh, some verification and validation results as our prior knowledge. In this case, we use the technique called uh, neural cleansing to detect uh, those uh, backdoors. And uh, we combine those knowledge in our explanation. And it turns out Bayline is uh, doing better than both Lime and uh, the uh, verification and validation result itself. So to conclude, uh, we noticed there are new techniques uh, emerging to make the AI and the machine learning models more transparent and uh, to study better the behavior of the AI and the machine learning models. So we believe the key question here is how to incorporate those diverse sources of information for a better interpretability. And uh, Bayline is the first framework to address this question. And the Bayline can combine diverse sources of uh, information in a Bayesian principled way. Thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me emails. Thank you.